Okay, so the puppies just, there they are. They just came outside about five minutes ago. They love it out here. But, let's see. That one is the one that's still available. He's got his rope. So in this litter, there was two white males and then one black female. Um, the one that's taken is a little bit more of the wheat in color, uh, whereas the one that's left has more of a whitish color to him. Now they're going to play. <laughs> so remember when you get your puppy home, up until its last set of uh, vaccinations, you're going to want to keep it at home. Don't take it anywhere where there's lots of dogs. The risk of parvo is still there. Um, and until they're fully vaccinated, they're going to need to be kept safe in their own area. They have begun potty training. So... Um, they do not, oh, <laughs> that's the little black one talking, They're chewing each other out. Usually if I get too close to the fence, they're bouncing everywhere. Yep. goes the food <laughs> so um they have had their first set of puppy shots and went over parvo oh potty training so they have begun that they do not like to go in the same area where they sleep but I do highly recommend crate training um and they will, they will make a mess there probably the first week or two. Uh, then they'll, they'll still have accidents. But once they get on your schedule, you know, they're really good about being on the schedule. And if you go to work or, you know, nap times, if you're at home, you, you put them up for certain, you know, an hour at a time, three or four times a day. Uh, they're, they're really good about adjusting to whatever schedule you have. Uh, they just need a little bit of time to do it, and they can usually start holding their bladder. Uh, every day is better. So with Luna, she stays in the house also, but she is in a crate at night. Um, I, she's only a week older than them, and we're still, I've had her, they got rid of her too young. Um, she was an adoption, but uh, she lost her mama young, so... For about a week now, I've only had one accident with her. These guys will be seven weeks old on August 2nd. So I have found that right now in between week seven and eight, they are fully weaned for mama. So today is day six that they have been fully weaned for mama. Um, if they stay here in between week seven and eight... They really start wrestling hard and biting each other hard. And so I like to get rid of them about seven weeks old before they get too aggressive. And then that way, if you want just a nice, gentle puppy, they haven't been biting each other too hard. <laughs> so this, in between now and next week, gets pretty rambunctious. Completely natural, but, uh, you know, it's just they're going to be pets, inside pets. So, you know, I'd like you to be able to train them how you would like. So, again, let me see. This is the little guy that's still available. <laughs> I 
and because I'm close to the fence and Luna's harassing them. <laughs> So there you go. That's the pups. If you would like any more information, please feel free to call or text me. They come with uh, unlimited registration. So it is just open registration papers, a puppy package, lots of information in there. And then about, depending on how you, uh, I probably, I would say about four or five days worth of food. Um, if you're interested, I will text you what kind of the picture of the food I feed them, what they're on. If you do want to change up the feed, please do it slowly with the food that I give you. And then that way we don't have upset tummies and more messes than you're going to want to clean up. Huh, little dude. Yeah, oh, Luna's, Luna's jumping at me. All right, and that's all for now. I guess I'll oh, drink water.